concept of not connecting it to the right thing. I need some people. Lord, help me on this morning, please. Please help me, God. I feel your presence is about to hyperventilate me, ain't you? Okay, look, so this is the thing about it. Believing God for the right thing causes us to be in the will of God. Believing God for the right thing, having faith for the right thing is a result, a direct result of being in the will of God, the will of God. So the will of God produces the blessings of God. Mm. The blessings of God produces the favor of God. Mm. Mm. The favor of God produces the promotion or the, or the prosperity of God. And all of this is because of having faith in the right places at the right time, knowing how to properly put things in the right place, not believing and claiming that is faith for something that is not the will of God. So I need y'all to understand because for some reason the mind has been deceived into thinking that whatever we believe for is what God wants to happen. I, I, I would I wish I had a few people this morning, Lord. We have been literally tricked or deceived or conditioned in the membrane to thinking that if I believe for it, then that must mean that it is the will of God. I, I wish, I, can, can, can y'all hear me this morning? Can y'all hear me? Yeah. We have been conditioned to Man. believe that because we believe for it, that means that it's the will of God. Do, can anybody bear witness of that? Can Can anybody see where, where, where the Lord is going with that? Yes, ma'am. Literally. We have literally taken on a level of consciousness to a certain degree of unconsciousness of thinking that just because I say I'm using faith for it, it must be the will of God. Just because I'm considering myself to be believing for it, that it must be the will of God. Negating the fact that we can have wrong beliefs. Do, do, do y'all know that we can have wrong beliefs? Do, are y'all aware of that? Yes, ma'am. Okay, I got one person. Are y'all aware? Yes, of the fact yep. that we can believe for the wrong thing. Yes. Okay. So since we can believe for the wrong thing, then that should be what causes us to make sure or to find a way to believe for the right thing. It should automatically warrant wow. to us that there is a fight concerning me believing for the right thing. That should automatically tell you that. That if there is a possibility that I can believe for the wrong thing, then that means there is a war going on concerning me believing for the right thing. Something is not going to want me to believe for the right thing. So there's going to be a fight. If it was that any time belief was put into place, it was for the perfect will of God, then trust me, the enemy would have no fight. He would stand no chance. But because there is a possibility or probability of believing for the wrong thing, the devil stands a chance. God help me this morning. He stands a chance because there is a possibility and probability of believing for the wrong thing. For some reason, we think that because we believe for it, that it automatically warrants that it's the will of God. That ain't true, y'all. That ain't true. That ain't true. That is not true. Just because you got to believe for it does not mean that it is the will of God. I don't know why God got me stuck here right now because this ain't part of where I thought I was going with John 9. 
But I'm stuck here to have to say this. Look, I'm telling you, just because you believe for it don't mean it's the will of God. That does not mean that that's what God wants to do just because you had to use some faith for it. You, you, you know, consider yourself having to use faith for it. It could be that what, what you're doing is, is fighting against the fact that it's not supposed to be. And so since you're fighting against the fact that it's not supposed to be, you think that means it's faith. Oh God, did you hear what I just said? I'm trying to figure out if I heard what I just said. One more time. Just, we, we think that. Because I got a fight, it's not coming to me easy. That must mean that it is the will of God. And the devil don't want me to have it. So now I got to fight for it because the devil trying to stop me from having it. Ain't that what we think? Ma'am. Yep. But can I say to you, how about if it just might be that that's the Lord resisting you having it because it's not his will? What if that's the case? What if that's the reason? But then we think just because we have to believe for something or exercise what we call faith, we think that that means that this must be the will of God. No. So what we need is discernment. To know what's the will of God and what's not. Can somebody help me this morning? Please. What we need is discernment. Right or wrong, y'all? Yes, ma'am. That's right. That's right. We need this. a good name or God name. Right. We need discernment more than anything to know what's the will of God and what ain't. Because we already done identified that we got the potential to believe for the wrong stuff. I wish somebody would help me this morning. We done already identified. Now, I admitted it. Did you admit it? Amen. That we got the potential to believe for the wrong stuff. So... What's going to stop me for belief, from believing for the wrong stuff is if I would allow myself to discern the will of God. Lord, have mercy. Father, we need discernment. We need discernment. All right. So, Spirit of the Lord would say, I need y'all to get some understanding on. I want to still see if I can figure out where John 9 comes in into play. Because I thought that's exactly where I was going to get to this morning. All right. So let me see here.
Let me get this thing straight. I see something here. Uh, okay. So, John chapter 9. Start at verse one. Yeah. All right, it says, and as Jesus passed by, he saw a man which was blind from his birth. And his disciples asked him, saying, Master, who did sin? This man or his parents? That he was born blind. I told y'all, some things just gotta be. Jesus answered. Neither has this man sinned nor his parents, but that the works of God should be made manifest in him. He gave the whole purpose right there. The whole purpose of what you're facing. The whole purpose of what you're dealing with. The whole purpose of what you're going through is answered right there in verse 3. The whole situation, I don't care what you look at, that you're facing right now in your life, the answer was just given to you right there in verse 3. The whole synopsis of your situation was answered right there in verse 3. Right there. Jesus answers to them and says, it ain't got nothing to do with the fact that this man done did something wrong. It has nothing to do with the fact that his parents did anything wrong. But it has everything to do with the works of God that they should be made manifest in him. So can I say to you this morning, just dropping off for a little bit. If you get your faith in the right place and if you will believe God for the right things, you will understand all the more that what's happening is nothing but God being made manifest through you. Oh, God help me this morning. If you, you, you got to have, Lord, help me this morning. You got to have faith in the right place, though, now. You, you, you're not going to get it if your faith ain't in the right place. See, if you, if you got faith, but you got faith in looking at, at your money. You got, you know, you, you, you're looking at your mammon. You got faith and you're looking at other people, your man, your woman, whatever the case may be. You, you know, you got faith, but, but, but you're looking at it in the wrong places. You're going to miss the fact that what's going on is because God wants to make sure that he's manifest through you. So faith has to be in the right place in order for you to know that what God is doing, he's doing so that he's made manifest in you. If faith is not in the right place, when things happen, this is the way we'll behave I'm, you'll start questioning God. I don't understand why he even like got this going on. You'll go into depression. I just don't feel like talking. You'll go into wanting to be isolated and all. You'll start going into an, a literal attack mode against God when faith is not in the right place. Because what see you you because you're not believing according to the will of God. You're believing according to what you want things to be, how you want things to go. You your your faith is towards your image. It's nothing to do with the will of God. It's why you let that happen to me now I'm going to be struggling why you let this right here happen now my reputation is tarnished see it starts going in that type of manner against God when you don't have faith in the right place see if faith is not in the right place God I wish you'd help me this morning
morning, man. I'm just trying to do what I know you want me to do. I see the whole picture, dude. I see it. I'm just trying to convey it over.